Hello, this is Kristen Baumgartner with ScanCo. Today I'm going to show you how quick and easy warehouse transfers can be with a scanning system out on your warehouse floor. On my screen, you can see an AirPlay of my iPad mini and a Sage demo environment. This is running on an iOS platform. The Scanco solutions are also native to Android devices as well, and can also be loaded on Windows Mobile 6.5 or desktop versions as well. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on transfers of inventory items from warehouse to warehouse. To start my transfer, on my home screen, I'm simply going to touch on this transfer icon, which will pull up my screen to begin my transfers. The first prompt I get is for my batch number. Now, employees do not need to know which batch they will be working in. They can simply hit the hashtag, which will generate the next batch per your Sage environment. If you do not want employees to even see the batch field, that can easily be deactivated in our ScanCo portal. So every transaction an employee will do will just generate a new batch, and the employee will never have to worry about entering a batch number at all. The next prompt I'm going to get is which warehouse I'm transferring my items from. I'm going to stay in my primary warehouse. And logically enough, the following prompt will be which warehouse am I transferring to? Anytime we see a red box in the ScanCo software that's asking and prompting us for information, we can scan in information, we can type in information, and we always are able to do a lookup. I'm going to tap that magnifying glass at the top of the screen, and this will show me all of my available warehouses that I can transfer to. If I choose, I can also have a virtual in-transit warehouse that would represent my items as they move from one location to another. Here, I'm going to do a direct transfer, and I'm going to choose my Peach Warehouse to move my items into. If my items are barcoded, it's very simple for me to go ahead and scan that barcode. I will populate some additional information, including that item's description, the unit of measure, the quantity available to transfer, and finally, my red box prompting me for additional quantities. I'm going to transfer 13 items of our pipe shares to our peach warehouse and move along to my next item. Again, if it's, we have something barcoded, it is extremely easy just to scan the barcode. You know you have the right item. If for any reason we were, con we were concerned about the employees moving the right items, I'm also able to attach images into my Sage item maintenance, and those images will be translated out to the ScanCo handheld devices. If I touch on this very small image next to my description, I am able to take that image and zoom in with my fingers and see any additional information anything that you want to re represent to that employee. If after reviewing the image, I found out that I have made an error and that is not the item I want, all I need to do is simply tap in that item field and start the process again and pull up a new item. This time, I'm going to clear out that field and I'm going to do a lookup. When I pull up that lookup, it's going to give me all the available items in my inventory. If I knew what, they, what my item code was, I could be typing it in. A lookup is also a very quick, easy way to see what we, need to be, what we need to be transferring. And if there are any associated images, they will translate out to the handheld. I didn't want my multi-bend tool because I need to transfer cord instead. I'm going to choose that item. I'm going to choose the quantity I want to move. Here you can see we only have three available in this warehouse, but my peach warehouse needs two of those. So I'm going to transfer those two. I could be working for five minutes. I could be working for an hour. Whenever I am ready, I am going to hit the send icon at the top of the application. All the information I've already been collecting has been stored already in the Sage barcode table. By hitting send, where you're triggering the barcode tables to create the transaction we're looking for. We do this simply because if this employee were to be working and this device get dropped, lose battery power, get run over by a forklift, Whatever the situation might be, no matter how much time your employees put on that handheld, none of the information that they've been recording will have been lost because it is stored in our barcode module table. Once I hit send, I'm going to get a prompt to say, do I want to confirm? Am I really done working? 
I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I get my success message saying that my information and my transaction has been created. Now, on the Sage side, if I go into my transaction entry within my inventory management, just as we would have to do this in a manual fashion, instead, we've been doing this on the handheld with our actual information. If there was lot or serial information that I would also be collecting, this would also be translating over. I would look for my transfer. I would look for the last receipt that I create, excuse me, the last transfer I created, which is that barcode module import. You can see we're moving from our primary warehouse to our secondary warehouse. And all of the items that I've been collecting out on the floor have been sent into our Sage system to be reviewed and posted so it would reflect against our inventory levels. 